Good morning, Kelly Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 7.0, and today is day 29. So today we're going to dive further into the campaigns applet, which we started into yesterday, and I'm going to show you how you can uh, schedule and or immediately post onto your social media channels that we connected yesterday. So let's go into the campaigns applet. Again, it's the megaphone icon here, seventh one, seventh one down. And when we come into the applet, again, we talked about this dashboard and everything here and the tabs along the top. Today, we're gonna focus on social posts. So we go into the social post page. First off, this home screen is gonna show you what you have that has gone out. So actual posts that you have made and then any posts that you have scheduled to go out as well. In addition, you're gonna be able to see draft posts that you have. On the right-hand side here, you can see all channels selected. However, had I had Twitter connected and Instagram, Facebook, you can see the different opportunities that there are to post to your actual socials. So let's go in and let's create a social post and I'll show you what that looks like. As with all things command, when we want to start something new, we just click on that Create Campaign button, the big blue button in the top right-hand corner. And it's going to ask us, what sort of campaign do you want to create? Do you want to do a paid ad, a social post, a direct mail campaign, or email campaign? And in this case, we're focusing on social posts. So when we come into the social post page, you're going to see on the top left-hand side, these are the accounts that this is going to be posted to. Now, I'm not posting to my Evolve business page right now. I'm not posting to my personal profile. I'm actually, or not my, my personal business page. I'm going to actually post to my team business page. So I'm going to select this as my social profile. Now, if you only have one business page, no harm, no foul. It'll be the only one that's selected. Just make sure that you have the correct business page selected here at the top. Next up, you have the ability to add the actual content of your post. And you can see this is where you would actually write in the text of the post. And you can see because we've selected Facebook, we have up to 2,200 characters for this post. So it might say something like, check out my newest uh, listing. Goes live tomorrow. Uh, four bedrooms, I don't know, three bathrooms. Granite, stainless three car garage you guys get the gist right whatever your post would be you have the opportunity to type it there now you do also have the opportunity to add emojis so if you click on this little smiley face you can see that you have all of these emojis and you can come in and put something in so let's say it was a three car garage you can see here are some houses on here we could do a little emoji for the car um, etc so feel free to play with that a lot of times I've been taught that emojis are a pattern interrupt and so they'll capture more attention than just a plain black and white text-based post. So I might consider adding emojis. And then this little button over here is our add media button. So if you click on the add media button, it's basically gonna say, okay, what do you want to add as far as photos go to the listing? So you can either browse files with your Google Drive, your Dropbox, your actual hard drive of your computer, or you can go into the designs library, which we're gonna talk about in a future challenge and bring in an actual design that you've created in the past. So you would choose between one of these two and you can see if we do browse files, it's just gonna open the file explorer on my desktop. If I do browse designs, it's gonna take me into a separate template where I have all of my designs that I've created in the past, which you can see because we haven't gotten into designs, we don't have any created, I could bring them in from there. So in this case, we're just gonna skip this step and actually bring in any media, uh, but you would see on the right-hand side, that would mean we would have a blank post. So it wouldn't look quite as good as actually bringing in an actual photo. Next up, you have the compliance step. So it says add content that should appear over the bottom of your social post. Check with your market centers. Some market centers do require the ownership statement beyond all socials, some do not. Check with your market center regarding your market center's DBA logo. In some market centers, this is absolutely required, and some it is not. So I would definitely recommend you check with your compliance broker, your TL, your OP, etc. Find out what's required inside of your market center, your local market, and then check which boxes would be appropriate. 
Finally, you've got the ability to publish this immediately or schedule it out for a future date. So if I choose to, I can say, hey, the listing doesn't go live until tomorrow, um, but I said it goes live tomorrow. So maybe if it was going live on Friday, I would schedule this post to go out tomorrow. So you can see that I can schedule it for a day or more in advance. So tomorrow is Thursday, December 1st, and I want this post to hit at, let's say, 9 a.m. Now I have this scheduled post ready to go out to my business page, which would be the Summit Property Group, Houston, Keller Williams Premier, December 1st, 9 a.m. I can get a preview of what that post is actually going to look like. And now I can choose to either save it as a draft if I'm still kind of working on it, or I can choose to schedule it. We're gonna go ahead and do that so I can show you what that looks like. It gives you one last chance to review it. If you had selected multiple channels, this dropdown would be available and you'd be able to see what it would look like in Instagram or Twitter as well. We only connected the Facebook account, so that's what we're showing right now, but you would have the ability to preview it in those other channels if you had selected them at the very beginning. We're gonna do one more time, schedule post. And now when we come back into the home screen of the social post tab, we can see on the top here, here's this week's calendar. And we have a scheduled post ready to go out Thursday, December 1st at 9 a.m. on Facebook. If we scroll down, we're going to see the week in review kind of in a visual breakdown. And sure enough, we've got something ready to go out on Thursday, December 1st. Now, let's say you can't think of what to post, but you know you should be engaging in social posts just to make sure that your content is staying live. And if someone looks you up on Facebook, it doesn't look like you've been out of real estate for six years. You do have the opportunity to use what are called quick posts. And those are over here on the right hand side. You're going to see these social posts have already been created for you. So these two, this first one revolves around Keller Mortgage. So it says, why should you get a mortgage or refinance with Keller Mortgage? If you hover over it, you can see the entire post. And down here at the bottom, you can see this one basically asks, do you know what the average home is going for in your neighborhood? Well, if you don't, that's why I'm here. And you can see the rest of that. So let's say that we wanted to select this post to go out to the business page. I can just click on this little arrow and boom, there you go. It's ready to roll, completely formatted. Now I need to change the business page that it's gonna go out on. But the text is already here. The photo is already ready. I can choose whether I'm gonna include the ownership statement or DBA logo, depending on what my market center requires. And then let's schedule this to go out uh, next Monday. And let's say we want this one to go out and let's uh, 9.15 sounds good, right? So I can just type 15 in that box. I can schedule this post. It's gonna say this is what it's gonna look like. I'm good to go with that, schedule post. And now you can see we've got the post scheduled for this Thursday. However, if I move the arrows, I've now got a post scheduled for next Monday. And here it is down here on the list. On these quick posts, you can click the shuffle button and it'll go through several others. So I think there's somewhere around eight to 10. Uh, they sometimes vary what the text says. So you might have the same text on multiple different photos, etc. But feel free to kind of go through and shuffle, right? Things that are popular right now, pumpkin spice and football. Uh, we might just be past pumpkin spice time, but it still may work, right? Um, but you can choose which one of those social posts that you want to go out. I would recommend maybe once a month coming in and scheduling out at least four posts, one a week, so that it does look like you're being active and involved inside of your Facebook business page and it wasn't just something you created your first day of real estate. That's it for today, guys. Campaign social posts, how to create them, how to schedule them, and how to utilize quick posts. Tomorrow, we'll start diving into paid ads and learn how to actually run ads. That'll probably be a two-parter uh, using social ads inside of campaigns. As always, hope you're having a great day. Look forward to talking to you then.